All right, guys, I gotta make a short little video on this just because I'm not gonna have it for very long. Uh, I'm actually hauling this for a friend. From what I've been told, this is a 1922 Model T milk truck. I don't know anything about these, but I figured I would give you guys just a quick video on it because, you know, it's the middle of the week and there's a little one or two minute video for you. So, from what I can tell, it was actually on the road, technically, 20 years ago, or at least it was tagged. Who knows how long it's actually been on the, off the road. But it's amazing how simple these things really are. I don't know what's original, I don't know what's not, etc, etc. All I know is, I mean, <clears throat> there's one little stoplight, <laughs> there's your rear suspension, your brakes are rods, there's no hydraulics in them at all, wooden wheels, <clears throat> here's your inside. Super simple. Let me show you under the hood. To me, it's just amazing. What I like about like a made in USA. I do like that. So, from what I can tell, it has an updated alternator, maybe ignition coil. I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about these. Um, looks like maybe the distributor have been updated. I feel like I remember these cars having just uh, copper copper tangs instead of spark plug wires, but I could be wrong. Little side drive carburetor. Let's go look at the other side. <clears throat> As you can tell, <laughs> Been off the road for a little while. Check out the water pump. It's all the way inside of basically what I guess could be equivalent to a thermostat housing. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, super, super, super simple. I mean, there's pretty much nothing to these cars at all. And that's probably why people like it so much. There's a Ford. So yeah, for me, these cars are not really my thing, mostly because I can't really drive this car on any kind of road around where I am. Most of the time, 65, 70 is the normal speed, and if I'm driving this around, it's just not. Maybe if I lived in town, it would be different, but they're just a little too old for me. But what's crazy is that my Cadillac is only 30 years newer than this, and to go from this to that, it's pretty good. So, there you go guys. I had to make a video before it went away. I know it's nothing special and no revival, but at least you guys get to see it.